All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahav, Akakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in whom I reverence and honors the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right, and I want to say to what Yahweh, to what Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, to what Yahweh, to what Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. All right, this lesson is going to be called This word is not going out void. Don't ever think this word is falling on deaf ears. No way, right? And you may even think, hold on, no one's really listening. No, the scripture says, even beware of murmuring because there's no word that, that's um, spoken in secret. Excuse me, just a minute. There's no such words are spoken in secret, right? And the scripture says, be careful, paraphrasing when you speak as well, because a bird of the air, yes, a bird of the air will carry, excuse me just a minute, that word, right? A bird of the air will carry that word. So without further ado, we're just going to flow with the spirit and Lord winning. This would be edifying. This is Isaiah, right? Isaiah. Baba Kesha, Baba Kesha, 55 and 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. So we know the heaven and the earth, right? Two different paradigms, right? It's higher, right? And my thoughts than your thoughts. And two different realms, okay? But as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but the water of the earth and maketh it bring forth from bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Right? So this word is similar to what? Planting a seed and it buds. And we're giving that food to you. We're feeding you. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Right? It's going to spread. It's going to flourish and it shall not return unto me void. So this word is not returning unto us void. It's not going to return back to the heavenly father void. All these words we speak are, it's going out into the atmosphere. And that's another reason why Esau is threatened. Because there's power in words. There's power. There's a vibration that you're pushing out. Yes, there's such a thing as, as positive vibrations. I don't want to sound like, I hope I'm not sounding like the unconscious community. But there's a thing as, yes, there's, there's energy. So everything has energy. Everything. So when you're pushing out this word, it has an energy to it. It has the vibration to it, right? It has an influence. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, empty, right? But it shall accomplish that which I please. So this word is accomplishing which the heavenly Father has pleased, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, right? So yeah, it's prospering, right? To the four corners of the earth is prospering it's not that it's not prospering Esau wants you to think it ain't prospering no it is that's why he's trying to stop this word but you cannot stop the word you cannot stop prophecy this word is prospering don't think your word is not falling on deaf ears now let's go to Romans 10 okay Romans 10 and start at 18 start at 17 so then faith cometh by hearing you need to hear <laughs> hold on you need to hear the words first you want faith well how do you have faith if you don't know what to believe in you don't know who to believe in that's why we teach we preach Yahabashai Mashiach all right so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Mosai, right? And that's through other men that are set up to teach you. Yes, righteous teachers, sincere teachers, okay? True teachers, right? True prophets. Verse 18, what I say, have, you, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, the whole entire earth. Their sound has went out, 
And how is that sound went out? By these electronic electronical epistles. And yes, the satellites they help that. Okay. What do they do? They carry that sound. Right? And also our voice has what? What do they call it? Waves to it as well. Okay. Yes, verily, they sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. These words echo. Okay, these words are echoing throughout all the world. Okay. Come on now. And their words unto the ends of the world. So this word's going out. Okay. And it says that some of them in Psalms or 11. Right. Okay. This word is going out. There, there is no stopping it at all. Right. It's impossible to stop this word. And now we went into that. Let's go to Matthews. Okay. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Matthew 24 I believe it is Come on now This is Matthew 24 Hold on just a minute And 31 Start at 30 and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes mourn, tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The Son of Man is Yahweh Shai. We're going to see him coming in them clouds. The clouds are another word for them chariots. Okay. We're going to see him. Okay. And it says, with heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet right and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other right so that's what's going to happen from one end to the other but before that happens they will need to hear this word first okay Baba Kasha go to Revelation 7 Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is Revelation 7, and after these things, I saw four angels. Okay, standing on the four corners of the earth, and in the completion, there's actually seven, but these were four. Holding the four winds of the earth. The four winds represent the winds. It's like it represents the destruction. The nuclear destruction. So you may say, well, Putin is Putin is Putin, is Putin holding back. Right? Is this so and so holding back to press that button? No, it's the angels that are controlling the what that their missiles, that them them valves. Right? But the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. The wind is indicative of that their missiles. What does the missiles cause? A heavy besom of destruction. And I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So the angels are appointed over every type of famine, every type of destruction, everything that happens upon earth. Yahweh sends his angels to orchestrate particular things that are happening upon earth. Right? And they're in control, yes, of them different plagues and destruction. Right, and it says, Hurt not the earth, neither the seed nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants, right, of our power in their foreheads. What's that sealing? Go to Ezekiel 9 and 4, set a mark upon them that sight and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's that sealing, that is that sealing. And that mark is a tawa, tawa, a hedge, protection from judgment. Okay, that's that mark. And the elect will have that mark. Just like in the time of when we had to come out of Egypt. And you had to what, sprinkle the blood on your doorpost. Right? That was what? An exemption from that judgment. Okay. But it's going to be in the same way. But you're going to be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai. Right, 
and I heard the number of them which were sealed right and they were sealed 144,000 that's why that 144 or 44 or triple four is a very very spiritual number if you see that number it's a very spiritual number right it represents mercy right so if you see them four a lot it represents mercy right and it goes into when you go down it goes into all the tribes that will what be saved okay so this word is, is definitely going out I don't want brothers to feel discouraged and feel well this person don't see this person doesn't matter look even with the views the whole views you may have one or two or five or ten you do know Esau manipulates the views and all that remember you have the, the what's it the so-called community that what they call the YouTube community and these people these handlers they control that right how many people watch how many people don't watch it may say 10 or 15 views that doesn't really matter but you really may have 300 people watching because this man remember he's a devil he's a deceiver because he doesn't want to give out that he doesn't want to give out the right idea that a lot of people are catching on a lot of people are watching so guess what even though you may see well it just says 15 views in reality that may how do you know 500 people ain't watching it you don't know right but the main thing we do this is for you how a shy and the elects are going to be sealed anyway okay regardless okay so with this lesson just a little exhortation and until the next time shalom to the hopeful elect shalom